Hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little fall essentials kind of wardrobe thing. Um, there have been a lot of things I've been loving already for fall and it's moving closer into cooler weather, so I thought I would touch on it as soon as possible. A lot of these things might be geared towards some people's winter, maybe too warm for winter in other places. I don't know, it's just all over the place. But before we get into this video, I wanted to announce that I'm officially a brand ambassador for Ana Luisa. So thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for partnering with me on this video. I've talked about Ana Luisa before. I fully support everything they stand for and how they produce their jewelry. As you guys know, uh, last time I got these two rings, they're still on the site and I've been wearing them every single day. And then I have these two little earrings that I wear almost every single day. And then I also got these necklaces. It comes in a little pack. Um, I'm loving these two chains with all my other jewelry. And then this big pendant is such a nice staple piece. And then also I think this is the prettiest bracelet. This little gold bracelet is stunning. Most of my jewelry today is from Ana Luisa and that's one of my first fall essentials is gold jewelry. If you like these pieces, make sure to check out Ana Luisa. I have a 10% discount code, Lainey10, for 10% off your entire order on the Ana Luisa site. I was getting a couple questions. I wear these pieces in the shower. I never really take them off and um, they don't fade. They don't turn silver. Um, I have some gold jewelry that as soon as you wash it, like the gold washes off. That's not how this jewelry is. Um, it stays gold because it's high quality. So yeah, make sure to check out Anna Lisa. Getting into the rest of the video. I'm going to start with something that I've been wearing every single day and that is just baggy jeans in general. So this first pair are thrifted. They're from Wrangler and they're just the super wide-legged baggy jeans but for some reason they're the most flattering jeans on my butt they're thrifted like i said so they don't have like a style name on them they're just wranglers but i will try to link some dupes below i think i've seen a ton of dupes on like asos or nakd naked um a Goldie has like a real nice pair. I've been eyeballing for a second. They've got distressed ones and not distressed. They're just amazing. Um, also with baggy jeans, I've been loving my white baggy jeans. These ones are kind of wrinkled right now. Um, they're from ASOS, so they're not as like high quality as my Wrangler ones, but they're pretty affordable and I can link these exact pair down below for you guys. Again, I'm eyeballing those are goldy ones, but they're so expensive. I just know they'd be such nice quality. But yeah, I've been loving whites and creams for, obviously like these together are so cute. Whites and creams for fall and um, even going into winter. But these get so dirty. Like, I don't even know if I wanna show you the bottoms cause I'm kind of a disgrace. They're nasty. My mom got a hold of them and was trying to like scrub the crap out of them. But honestly, I don't care. I step on the bottoms anyways. <laughs> I should get them hemmed, but I love the like oversized, not suffocating, eating me up. Then another fall wardrobe essential is this little plaid jacket. It's from H&M and it's their like conscious line, so it's made more sustainably, which I'm loving that so many more brands are coming out with lines like that. These big like 70s inspired, like my grandpa wears these all the time. Um, jackets plaid jackets are so cozy and so cute you can throw it over jeans like sweatpants like it looks so cute over a hoodie if you get it big enough uh, I got mine in a size small medium and it's still super oversized it is like a little itchy at first um, I think it's just because it's more inexpensive but if you wear a hoodie underneath it or long sleeve like you don't feel it so just something to keep in mind but it's so cute I still wear it all the time with or without a hoodie I just kind of like suffer through it going into more of the plaid you guys have seen this jacket in so many of my lookbooks so everything's gonna be linked down below too 
everything that I can find. I got this jacket in the summer actually from Mingo. They were having a sale and I just knew I was gonna want one of these long plaid trenches for the fall. And I'm so glad I picked it up while it was on sale because Mango can be pretty pricey, but they tend to always have really good sales. Um, but again, this over like joggers and a hoodie is so cute. A white t-shirt and jeans, my white uh, jeans, like everything goes so well with this. Leather pants, it's just such a statement and this jacket can make any look look looks so classy i always get compliments when i wear that so then going into more jackets i've just been loving fancy or like crazy looking jackets for the fall it's really what shows on your outfit um especially where i live you have to bundle up it's not like you can just go out in this in the fall so it's more important about the jackets to me this jacket is from Revolve. Again, I got it in the summer when it was super on sale because it's an expensive jacket. It feels so soft and luxurious, but I've been seeing so many dupes of this jacket, so I'll link some below. Um, it's just all interior lined fleece and it just brings up any outfit. I'm loving that. And then this one, I have so many jackets to show you guys. You guys have seen these if you watched my trying everything on my closet, but I'll show you because I'll link some dupes below this one was actually my mom's um, it's real leather or real suede but it was hers in the 90s and they, I don't know when she had this but she gave it to me um, I don't know the brand but I'm just obsessed with it and I am okay with like thrifted leather thrifted suede and it's my mom's. The fur is not real. Otherwise, that I think would gross me out a little too much. But yeah, this jacket's so cute. Ugh. And then this one that I can link below for you guys is just this kind of uh, one up from like a teddy jacket. The IMG a teddy jacket. I feel like I am so over. But this is like an elevated version of that. It's more of a blazer type uh, jacket. But it's that really soft teddy material. It's not the thickest, but... I got it in size medium so I can layer hoodies or sweaters underneath it and it's this like gray green almost. It looks more gray on camera but it's kind of green. Um, it's just super cozy even over like sweatpants and stuff. I know I keep saying sweatpants but like that's what I wear and then these jackets make it so cute. Okay then this jacket you guys ask all the time. This is my prized possession. It's a Jeff Gordon NASCAR jacket. I don't watch NASCAR, I've never watched NASCAR in my entire life. Um, I don't know who Jeff Gordon is, so. You guys always ask where I got it, and I got it off eBay, and I'm pretty sure I paid $30 for this jacket. The thing is, it's a 2XL, it is massive, but it was the only one I could find that um, had all the patches that I liked, and the reason I always say get like a Jeff Gordon one when if you guys ask and like I comment back to you where I got it, it's because the Jeff Gordon ones, it's his thing to have like flames on the sleeves or flames. My brother told me that. Um, so yeah, if you want a NASCAR jacket, just go on eBay and search Jeff Gordon NASCAR jacket if you care about the flames or not. If you don't care about the flames, you can just search NASCAR jacket and so many of these will pop up. The thing is, they're just all massive sizes. And if they are like a medium, they're normally like a hundred bucks or something crazy. So I don't know, I like it really oversized. Then I have a pair of shoes. I don't know why, but I'm just like completely over my Doc Martens. Not completely over, I like them with um like boot cut jeans or flare jeans now, I'm kind of covering them. Other than that, I don't know, I'm just like, sick of them so i found these white little leather booties i got them off asos or well, i didn't get them off asos they're from asos but um they didn't have my size so i looked on depop and i actually found them they were a little scuffed up but it really doesn't bother me and um i think they're real leather so i'm happy i got them off depop instead of asos they are just these three little buckle white booties and they're super cute they're pretty comfortable uh i think on asos i don't think they're that expensive they're less than a hundred dollars i know that for a fact but they're so cute and i'm loving the white patent leather so white patent leather booties are just so freaking cute hi okay next i have this little hat from h&m and it's actually real cashmere or like made with cashmere but i'm loving this um 
color with my blonde hair and since my roots are like nasty right now let me know if you think i should dye my hair blonde again and like fix my roots or just go brown because ugh, it's so much work and so expensive to keep doing my roots like this but i really like the blonde i think i don't know but this hat is so cute it's not gonna look good with my hair like this but i like when it's like the little like boop at the top and not too hot or what not too tight um that looked really ugly i'll probably put that on the next thing are these thick scarves and i love i don't know this is like a weird thing to notice but when like the bottoms are like thick too and it's not those like little thin scragglies i don't know why that's really important to me i got this scarf off of asos and i think it's so cute this like pink tie-dye with um like my black leather jacket kind of look oh, so cute and scarves are so warm for the fall and winter and then this one that looks a lot more fall is also from asos and it's this is really pretty camel color again i'm loving this camel with all of the um, like winter and fall creams and whites that's why i needed white boots because it goes with like my white pants and my white like sweaters and my cream sweaters and my light hair so this is really nice to go with it all and then the last fall essential is this hairstyle that seems dumb but this hairstyle saves my life because now all the clothes or trends are turning really baggy like baggy pants and a baggy like jacket or shirt or like you just really lose your figure and it can look a lot more masculine which i'm loving but sometimes to counteract that or make myself look a little more put together and not so like i just rolled out of bed because that's not the look i'm going for sometimes it's this hairstyle can like sleek everything and make you look so much more feminine with all these baggy clothes um try it out because you probably think I'm crazy and like the hair doesn't matter that much but if you're wearing a more baggy outfit and you don't feel like as feminine as you want to or as put together just like slick your hair back and I swear to god it works those are all my fall essentials I don't know why I thought I had more but I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out Anna Luisa again my code is laney 10 for 10% off the entire site I love their pieces I think you guys can genuinely tell that I love their pieces. Uh, any picture I take on Instagram, I'm wearing their pieces. Uh, any video, I'm wearing their pieces. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching these videos. It means the world to me. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>